and now it says uh, Windows Boot Manager. Okay, so I guess I'll have to guess for this one because I have two Windows 7 installed. Um, okay, I guess I'll go with the first one since. Hmm. Alright, and if it's the wrong choice, I will edit this out of the video. I think it should give an option for Windows 7 and uh, Windows 7 64-bit because you can't really tell which one is which. Is this the right? Yes, I guessed right. There I am in the background. Hello. And you can probably see Xbox right here. <laughs> well, that's just the outer shell, but, um, you know, the actual thing is right here I showed early in the video it's um you know all taken apart being flashed and then a random laptop screen which you can't see now because it now has something on the screen okay so uh, I'll just go um hack Uh, password. I'll just. Uh, what should I do? Q. Come on, Q. First letter on keyboard. Whoop. Didn't spell keyboard right. There we go. Uh, I won't do this right now because it always takes me forever. Ask me later because. Um, yep. Okay. It is now finalizing my settings. Today would be nice. That's the thing I don't like about Windows very much. It always takes forever to set up. So anyways, once this is finished, I will take my flash drive here, plug it into my computer. Oh, there we go. now apparently is preparing my desktop now this part usually takes a while this is gonna be like a 20 minute video I may have to split it into two parts because I don't have a partnership yet so Give you a nice view of the Windows 7 professional logo there. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I don't quite understand in Windows right now is there is a button up there, but on this screen there is no cursor. Like, there's no cursor anywhere. So, I don't understand is what is this button for? I guess for a touchscreen monitor, maybe? But then what would you be doing while on this screen? I always find it so strange that there's that one button up there in the corner that you cannot press. There we go. Yep, we're at the screen here. So no graphic drivers or anything, but you know, whatever. So now that I have Windows installed, I am going to restart with my flash drive inserted in my computer. So I'll just uh, over here and put it in. and then we'll boot from the flash drive okay um... there we go okay now I have a lot of options here so what we're going to want to do is boot into Macintosh HD because I do have an internal installer which I could have booted from but you know whatever uh, just for the sake of this video I use the flash drive and then I have two windows partitions um, and then I have a backup for OS 10 fully bootable Okay, here we go on the login screen. Okay, and you'll just want to download the uh, standalone Chimera installer, or you can use MultiBeast, whatever. Um, now you'll just want to go to wherever you saved it to. I believe mine is in downloads, maybe. Uh, Chimera. Oh, there we go, Chimera. Right there, you see the icon over here. Anyways, just double click that, continue, 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 agree, install. And I'll just put in my password. And it should only take, yeah, a couple seconds. Continue, and I will restart and see if Chimera will load successfully. Sometimes. The first time doesn't work, you'll have to install it twice, but, um, yeah. So let's take a look, booting from the hard drive now. There we are, at the Chimera screen. So, um, I hope you like this video, guys. Be sure to rate it thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe in the top right corner over there. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.